In this video, we will learn how to calculate real GDP from the given GDP deflator and nominal GDP. The question goes like this. In an economy, the GDP deflator is found to be 110 for the current year. If the GDP has a registered annual growth rate of 15%, by GDP here, we mean the nominal GDP has, you know, shown a growth of 15%. In the same year, then the rate of growth of real GDP will be the options are 5%, 15, sorry, 1.5%, 25%, or 2.5%. Okay, but um, what does uh, the GDP deflator tell us? GDP deflator uh, is the ratio of nominal GDP to the real GDP. Okay, so uh, if I can write the definition simple uh, GDP, GDP deflator. is ratio of ratio of nominal GDP nominal GDP okay to real GDP okay by GDP deflator you can also say that this GDP deflator shows us the rate of inflation, okay? And, um, you know, deflator, if I write it in formula, deflator, okay, is equal to nominal, nominal GDP upon real GDP into 100, okay? So, let me write it here. This is the formula for calculating the GDP deflator. But GDP deflator is 110. If 110 is the, so let me write it here. If GDP deflator is equal to 110, okay, it means our rate of inflation, okay. So inflation rate, inflation rate is equal to 10 percent simple thing gdp deflator if it is 110 it means there is 10 percent increase in the inflation okay so it shows us if we have 100 or 12 as the gdp deflator it means our inflation rate is 12 percent simple thing now what we are being given also we are also being given our, our nominal gdp has shown a uh, you know growth rate of 15 percent okay then what will be the real GDP uh, real GDP growth will be equal to okay will be equal to nominal GDP nominal GDP growth minus inflation growth Okay, inflation rate and nominal GDP is being given as is 15%, inflation rate is 10%, that means our real GDP would have been 5%. Okay, simple thing, if deflator is equal to nominal GDP upon real GDP, we cannot use this very formula directly because uh, the variables are being given in the percentage form here, okay, and only this uh, GDP deflator is 110 and we have... Uh, converted it into the percentage form by GDP deflator what we mean uh, we simply mean the inflation rate okay so um, real GDP shows us the purely growth and nominal GDP shows us inflation and growth okay so if I can write it here so nominal GDP is always equal to okay it shows us growth plus inflation and real GDP real GDP shows us only your pure growth okay when we subtract the inflation rate from the nominal rate from nominal GDP we get the real GDP simple thing I hope I make myself clear thank you